Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hilltop Pillbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. Just uh, doing again anniversary today, 1941, with my good buddy Hell on Wheels off in Cornwall, off in the UK. And uh, it's later in the evening for him and it's right around 1 o'clock for me. So we are, uh, we're going to do some short cuts between the different uh, turns and we'll let you know how it's going. Well, this is probably one of the worst starts I've ever had is the Axis, so we're definitely on an uphill battle. A couple of bright lights, but uh, some very, very poor poor dice at key moments, and we're going to just talk about them quickly. I came here and sank the battleship with th uh, four fighters, but I lost two of them, because I just couldn't get two hits on the first round, which I was really hoping for, but I didn't get it. Uh, everything else went pretty well down here. We took New Guinea, but lost New Guinea. We had uh, just one man on there, and he came and killed it. Uh, but we did take Burma with a little bit of authority, and we built in French Indochina because it's pretty safe down there. And we wiped out the British fleet that was in 35, but of course we lost another fighter. We took Quang Tung with a man, a tank, and a fighter, went after one man, and we lost a man and a fighter because I couldn't get any hits on the first round. Came into Su Yan with a man and a fighter, and he got a hit on the first round, and of course I did not, so I retreated my fighter. So the Japanese ended up losing four fighters on the first round. Well, that sounds bad, but it gets a little worse. Okay, over here, the Eastern Front actually went very well. I think I lost two men uh, in my attacks here. So that's pretty good. You know, I took, uh, took those three territories. Um, he's defending it very well here, though. He brought a British fighter over, and he built ten men just to, just to bulk up the defense and to hold on. The Italians... Uh, didn't build anything this round, but we're hoping to take Transjordan. There was a man and an artillery here. Oh, we had a bid of 12 for Hell on Wheels, so he uh, planted uh, a tank in Cairo and a... Uh, I forget what else. Oh, he did the man in India and an artillery in Transjordan. So, yeah, I came in here. I had a bombard with a battleship, a bombard with a cruiser, a man and an artillery. I got one hit, he got two on the first round, that was the end of that. So I lost that battle. Uh, coming up here to kill his battleship, up in two, two subs and a fighter. Lost both my subs and, and a fighter. So I only got one hit on him in the two rounds of combat. Or in three rounds of combat. Three rounds of combat, I got one hit. Uh, so he built a battleship, so you can see he's got that there, and he's loading up for bear. He's obviously going to do an air campaign versus Germany. And this is definitely a kill Germany first scenario he's got going. So uh, I'm just going to have to build a bunch of men here for a while, just bulk things up. I'm going to probably have to retreat from here and uh, shorten up my defensive lines. Italy is now actually under threat because he did build four transports, but he doesn't have much to put on them. But he does have two transports in Britain with lots of stuff. I was actually, before he brought the American stuff over here, I was actually going to hit this. And I still might, just out of desperation. I built a transport up here, so I have two transports. I can take a couple of tanks and a couple of men. I grab them from, from Norway, head into there. And I can also bring two men from Gibraltar. One, two, can go into there. So that would be six ground units. And then I could bring in uh, four fighters and one bomber. I don't think I would win that. And if I lost that, I think that might be the game. So I don't think I'll get that desperate that early. Uh, but it's been pretty bad. It's been pretty bad for uh, for some key moments. Some key moments. We know the dice even out, so I'm looking forward to round two when I can maybe start taking some of China. I had a failed attack here and a failed attack here. I didn't kill anybody here. He just retreated them. So, yeah. I lost two men going into here and I lost one man going into here and got nothing. Brutal, brutal, brutal start. Uh, and I'm going to have to do something. Japan's not too bad, badly off, to tell you the truth. I think I'll probably take India this turn. Uh, he's got five units there. I can bring uh, two, four, seven. Um, yeah, I can bring seven units plus air power if it doesn't get shot down. So I, I might have a chance at taking that. They're, they don't shoot real well, but we'll see. Um, and Australia is now in jeopardy too, so I might take that instead, but he doesn't have a factory here and he doesn't have much to put in there. But we'll see what happens here on round two coming up. It's going to be exciting. See if I can pull my fat out of the fire here.
could be tough. All right, well, uh, yeah, a little bit more of the same here in the second round. And, uh, yeah, just kind of trying to shore things up a little bit. So the Russians came in and took Manchuria. Uh, they had seven men versus my three men and a fighter, and they wiped me out and still had two men left at the end of it. So I had to go in there, and, yeah, so not a, not a battle you really want to make. China is very healthy this game because I haven't had any success against it, and I didn't even attack it last round. Um, I built a couple tanks down here and shipped over a bunch of guys into Burma, so I could pretty easily take India here. But I think what I might do this round, just, mm, I'm really debating. Thinking of smashing into this with the German stuff, weakening it a little bit, and then coming across one, two. I could bring six men, six tanks, or sorry, three men, three tanks, and a fighter. So if Germany gets some decent hits, that could open up some possibilities there. But if they don't, it might be a non-starter. So I might just take India and just save that for the next turn. But we'll see. If I can get into India and build a factory and start pumping tanks up here, that'll help. Because the Germans are rather beleaguered. We uh, had to reposition everything. Kind of kicking myself for moving so many tanks out of east this area. Because if I had put them here... I have my Italian tank, I could have done a can opener here, because he only built a fighter in Russia, and had one guy in there, so if I had my four tanks in position, that could have been quite the coup, but I did not. So I'm going to try to set that up for this round, but now he's got tanks, he took back the Baltic States, he's got a tank here, and a fighter, so he's got some reach, and he's got a bit of cannon fodder, I think he's got six men there, so... I might load up into East Poland, and he probably wouldn't hit it, and then maybe he won't recognize it. I don't know. He probably will. He's a pretty good player, but sometimes we get caught up in some things, so maybe we'll try one, and then might have to retreat. As you can see, I bailed out of Finland, brought my two guys down into Poland, and he defeated Norway for the cost of one man. Uh, he did leave an unprotected transport up there. I don't know what that's about, so maybe it's... I've been bombing uh, Britain. Speaking of getting bombed, I lost 10. I did shoot down one British bomber, so that was nice. But uh, obviously this is gonna this is gonna take its toll. So I think Japan to the rescue might have to be the order of the day here. So I might be building a lot of ground units. Now the one thing I've built here, I built four subs thinking, you know what? That would give me five subs right here. And then if he comes within one with this fleet, because the fleet's pretty useless out here, he's got to bring it in. And if I can keep my Air Force healthy and have five subs to hit him with, that might give him a, a moment of pause. So that's what I'm hoping to do. He's uh, putting all of his money into kill Germany first. This is 100% kill Germany first, and with my abysmal start with Germany, it could very well happen. So I do need to make sure that I've, I've got things protected here. Uh, Italy, of course, um, is it doing Italy. <laughs> Built another transport just to hopefully uh, have a, maybe have a poke at uh, taking Transjordan, maybe split his forces, and then he's got to make some decisions. We'll see. I also got to worry about this, though. The Americans have moved over here, and they've got some more stuff coming. So they might be headed for Italy. They might not. Who's to say? They don't quite have the power to, to just come in, but they do have two bombers up here that they can fly down to hit this and then uh, unload those guys. So, do have to be careful. Do have to be careful. That's pretty much the situation here. Uh, he's playing really well here, and uh, I have got to pick up my game. Definitely got to pick up my game. Now, he did move his fleet here, which is betwixt and between every ship I've got and my new... Uh, bombers so and the fighters because i'll have carriers that could they could land on so i'm probably gonna get rid of that i don't want that there he can keep the philippines that doesn't really bother me i just want to get rid of stuff here and then who knows maybe i'll build up my transport fleet and threaten the west coast lots of options but uh, i think we gotta protect germany and italy first that's uh that's gonna be the thing i might i might ditch a couple of those subs and just build some more ground forces but we'll see all right, so that's round two in the books. Round three coming up. And uh, I think we got to repair our infrastructure. Youch. Okay, well, only one 
big battle really this turn. Well, there were two big battles. One was here, and uh, yeah, boy, his dice are just firing on all cylinders. He had five units down here, he got four hits. But fortunately, I got all the hits I needed in the first round, but still losing three ships wasn't, uh, I really wasn't wanting to do that. But hey, small price to pay. The Americans are now out, and he put all his, he's definitely killed Germany mm -hmm. first. Like everything he's doing is kill Germany first. He spent no British money anywhere in the Pacific or in Africa, except for his bonus money. Every dollar he's been spending has been up here. So we had to evacuate these areas, and we likely won't be going back for a while. I just built eight men. We got bombed for another five, but this turn we shot down two bombers, one British and one American. So our dice are getting a little hot on the AA. I tried to talk him out of it too, uh, the first time and the second time, but he'd have none of it. Uh, he built four subs and brought his whole fleet up here. So obviously I think he's looking at taking a shot into Germany at some point. And yeah, I built three su or two subs. Um, but I'd say I certainly don't have enough to hit this fleet. Like it, it would just be a massacre. He's got four at four right now, plus two tips. So I would likely lose everything. But he's going to come and get me, I'm sure. But we'll play defense as long as we can. I did take back Norway. Of course, his single die got a hit. That's kind of a running joke we're having here. Is every time I attack him with two units, he gets a single hit uh, when he's got one unit. Don't know. Good for him. Uh, Italy, we're just trying to bulk up because the Americans have landed with Ernest here. And, uh, so we're going to have to do something about that. I'm, I'm probably going to smack that with, uh, my meager German stuff. I do have a good air force though, so I'm probably going to hit that. I might actually attack that fleet now that I look at it. He's got three, four, or three twos and a four. And I've got a four and one, two, three threes. My fighters can go one, two... One, two, three. Oh, I got nowhere to land now. Yeah, so anyway, I might hit that. That might be fun to destroy. Might slow him down a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see which way I want to go. So, lots of options. He's, he's playing very cautiously here. He's basically buying time to flatten Germany. That's obvious what his intentions are. He's put, like I say, no money over here. I was able to build another factory in Manchuria. It's out of harm's way. He did move into Kiangsu, but we'll kill that thing. And uh, I'm thinking I'll probably erase this this turn. And then he'll have four infantry left next round. And that's it. And he won't be building too many after that. Two around, then one, and then none. Um, I think I'm going to let him keep the Philippines right now. And I'm going to try to put as much pressure over here as I can uh, on Britain. Because if I can get into Africa, scoop up all this money... I'm scooping up this money here for now. Uh, it should be fun. My worst fear is if he builds four tanks here. Because if he builds four tanks here, I have to keep everything back. I can't go attack him. So we'll see what the Russians do. But two tanks and a fighter are not really worrisome down here. I'm going to build a factory. And that'll give me three factories on the continent. And I can start pumping out cheap tanks. And if he's not going to build anything in the Pacific with America, I think that might eventually doom him because we'll be chewing up his Soviet income here. Britain's income is going to be abysmal. Uh, by the time I get done with Britain, he's probably going to be making like 12, 13 bucks around. That's it. And then I don't really have to worry about him. Uh, Germany, we're going to build a, an impenetrable wall here. We won't be getting any bonuses. Russia will have a decent income for the next couple of rounds. Uh, it's just the way it is. Just the way, not, nothing I can really do about it. Um, I don't want to stick my neck out a little bit here, and uh, I want to make sure I can protect what I've got. So I might <clears throat> come into 16, I might pick up a couple of guys and bring them back here into Libya to bulk that up. Not really sure, not really sure how to approach all this. A lot of options. He's got a couple naked transports out here that I wish I could get at, but he's, he's playing very smartly here. And uh, this, this is concerning, and... Fortunately, he's only got one transport in that mess. So I'm not too worried about a landing yet, but I think he's coming to kill that this turn. I, I, I wouldn't blame him if he did and then built four transports and then started to go at me. And that's why I built a bunch of men and I'm going to build a bunch more men this turn. Hopefully it'll be enough to hold on until Japan can come to the rescue. And who knows, maybe even Italy. Okay, let's not get crazy. All right, well, what a difference a turn makes. <laughs> We're going to check this out here. 
So the Japanese, uh, I decided enough is enough with these Chinese, and I uh, put, really put the boots to him. He's down to four men, and uh, actually I think he's down to five men. Um, we're going to have to take a look at that. There may be a change here. He might move into Suyan. He may attack somewhere. I'm not sure. But uh, we actually forgot to do the Chinese turn because I'll show you what the American turn was. Uh, over here, the Japanese getting a little cheeky, getting a little cheeky. Come down to Madagascar. The British are continue to bulk up here. Uh, there's a blocker. Russian blocker went here because he had he has moved everything up to the front which is exactly what we wanted them to do. Maybe not this fast, but at least now uh, the line is drawn and uh, he's he's going to have to come at me now and my infantry will be defending and his swarms of infantry are attacking at one. So they're half the power punch that they'd be going after them. So I think I've been able to hold on. We'll see. I've got my Japanese tanks up here, of course, that are going to start bleeding Russia dry. Uh, over here, the Americans are out of Morocco, Algeria now, so we'll be taking that back. They tried a landing. Now, the British tried a landing here, had amazing dice. He got seven hits, so he killed six infantry and a tank, and I had three fighters left. But then I got some good hits. He only landed with two units, and so I got five hits, and so I dug into three of his aircraft. So he's down to two Spitfires left in Britain. And the Americans landed with their eight units from Morocco, Algeria, but the Italians had reinforced. We still ended up losing an Italian fighter and a German fighter, and then four or five more Italian units. But now Italy is safe for the next few turns. France is going to be safe for the next few turns, because I'm just going to load it up with this. Keep building up infantry in here. And he didn't kill this stuff, which I'm really happy about. I thought he was going to fly over and kill it. But he really had his sights set on taking Paris, which obviously uh, is a big prize for the Allies. So he's brought over some more American stuff here, and he built a battleship over here. So he's going to try to get a bit of a express system going. I bulked up Norway. I sent four more infantry up there, thinking that was the last thing that these transports would do. But hey... I've got four infantry that I can move, infantry artillery I can move from here, and I think Karelia is about to be taken, because he's only got two things in there. So I'm going to take Karelia, and I'm likely going to take Finland, and uh, maybe take back some little bit of uh, the momentum here on this front. But that's pretty much it. Japan uh, doing well here. We took India, built a factory, as you know, last turn. And so we're going to be building uh, three tanks around out of there. He did really well. He only had five, six units here, and he got five hits. So, yeah, he's uh, he's doing all right on defense. So it makes you a little gun shy. Let me know in the comments below is if you, if you start changing your gameplay because the, the guy's dice just seem to be shredding you, do you find yourself not doing things that you might have done? Uh, oh, this here was I, one of my planes only had a movement of one, so he had to go to French Indochina. All right, so that's everything. We're going on to round five now, I believe. We'll see what happens here on the Eastern Front. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got 14 men in the Ukraine. So we may have to go back even further. Hope not, but he's playing well. Well, it's over, folks. Uh, Hell on Wheels has dispatched me on round, I think this is five or six. Kind of lose track of them. Uh, very convincingly, he came into here. I had brought all my tanks all my infantry and all my artillery from Poland, uh, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania, and I put them all here. And so I had, what did I have? Like, I can't remember now, like 14 infantry, four artillery, six tanks. And on my defensive roll, I got three hits. Uh, he got 10. <laughs> and so that was that. Uh, he actually got more hits with his infantry at one. He had 14 infantry, I think, or 14, maybe 19 infantry. And he got more hits than I did with all of my defense. And so that was over on the first round. And he's got a good stack of guys here in Poland. Now, yes, there were some dice issues for me in this game where I got diced hard. But I don't think it would have stopped his eventual defeat of Germany uh it's he, he played brilliantly here uh 
and he was able to take back Karelia. He brought in four guys to my three, and I got one hit. So kind of went like that for a lot of the game. I came out to eight to sink these three destroyers. I brought two fighters and a bomber. No hits. He got two on me. So, yeah, it's, that, it's just been that kind of a game. Um, and, you know, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a couple of the battles turn around, right? And we've all been there. But at the same point, uh, taken nothing away from Hell on Wheels. Brilliant game, brilliant game. He spent nothing in on UK down in this part of the world. And when I jumped on this early, he was he, he was hurting for money right off the bat. Because on round one, well, you know, round one, he still got his money. But on round two, he was down 8, 10, 11 bucks. He took this one back, which cost me 5 bucks a round. And I never decided to take it back. I said, ah, just keep moving this way. Because I really wanted to take India and from India threaten here. But I failed. I mean, I took India, and I've subdued China. We did his turn, by the way, and he just retreated everybody here and put a guy in Shanghai. Um, you know, now i got tanks rolling and all the rest, and yeah, we could keep playing, but in two turns, Germany's going to fall. There's just no two ways about it. France is probably going to fall this turn. He's got three bombards, and he can load one, two, three, four, five units and two fighters. So that is five units... Two five that's seven and three bomb or three bombards. It's ten versus my eight defending units. Yeah, likely uh, I'd lose that. Um, and if even if I won that, Italy then has to pull guys up into France, and then America's landing with a bunch of stuff here and probably taking France. Uh, so and Britain obviously is just going to build another eight units that he can land here anytime he wants. So the pressure's just on. Like, there's just no way I can withstand this much longer. Um, and it, he's also eight hours ahead because he's here in Cornwall and I'm here in the Hilltop Pillbox, right? This is the map he gave me, by the way. Like he, he designed for me and sent me the file. I got it printed out. So he was kind enough to put that on there. And he also, with the die rolling, just in case you haven't seen this, sorry about the shadow, folks. Nah. <laughs> hate having shadows on my videos. What can I do? What can I do? Anyway, you see the dice there are, they match my hit dice, which I think today I should have called miss dice. <laughs> so he just didn't do very well. Um, but I mean, this is his Soviet build that he's putting on after he's already clobbered me. So it's, uh, it's all over. It's all over. Uh, he did it hundred percent kill Germany first. Britain spent no money anywhere. America spent no money anywhere but here and here. That was it. And it all was landing here, 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 just constantly, which kept me from going into Russia. Italy's first attack failed here. And after that, that was it for Italy because no bonus. And we had uh, just no chance to do anything. He did have a 12 bid. So he put a tank here and he put uh, a man here and he put a man here. All right. So... That did help uh, stop me there. Uh, might have actually done a landing here if he hadn't didn't have the extra two units that normally he would have because this would be gone. And I think he had an artillery actually. Yes. So might have actually gone into that. These two guys are from down south, right? They're from way down south. So I might have hit that in the in the first round with Italy. Got some bombards, softened it up with the Germans maybe. A lot of, lot of things went right for him. A lot of things went wrong for me. And, uh, you know, the initial Japanese attacks here where I can't get a hit with a fighter and a man or a fighter and a man, two men and a fighter. Can't get any hits. Yeah. Just took too long. Just took too long. Pacific is clear, but it looks like it doesn't matter, eh? Doesn't matter at all. He was able to just do whatever he wanted to over here. So it's a great strategy. Let me know in the comments below if you think that the game is broken because of this strategy. Or do you think my initial attack here, where I attacked with two subs and a fighter and lost all three of them to his battleship and didn't hurt his battleship, you know, do you think that played a role? Do you think it's it was a fool's errand to go out there? Should I have sent my bomber as well and landed it in Norway? Like, what should I have done? Did I do something wrong? I ended up starting on turn two, I believe, building nothing but men and artillery. I built a couple of subs in there sometime, 
Built the destroyer last turn just so he couldn't auto kill these things, but he didn't have his eyes on them anyway. So let me know. Did I have a flawed strategy? Uh, if you know that you're going to be a victim of the KGF, the kill Germany first, what is your response as Germany? My response was, let's get Japan over there. Uh, obviously, not fast enough. Ha. So let me know, what's your response to this? Help me fix this. We're going to be having another game of this maybe next week. We'll see. See how... Uh, how, what kind of time we have, and uh, I'll let him be the allies again with his bid, and he could do the kill Germany first thing again, and we'll see maybe if I can hold on. So let me know what you think, folks. I don't get to play Anniversary too terribly often versus a human. You know, we play it on uh, uh, AAA and whatnot, but versus a human, this is pretty rare. So what would you do? Kill Germany first. You're Germany. What do you do? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, remember, hug your loved ones. Tell your friends and family that they're important to you. Especially in these days, folks. Everybody needs a hug or at least a, a call. Give them a call. Give them a video chat. Something just to perk up their day. Let them know they're important. And as always, may those dice be with you.